G'day guys, it's Jason here and we are at the 2023 Smart Energy Conference and look what I found, um, this is Mitch from Clipsall and they're just going to market with their new Cortex product. So Mitch, I'm going to hand over to you, tell us about this Cortex product, what it does and why customers should be interested in it. Cheers Jason. Well, uh, really excited to be here today at the Smart Energy Conference. We're launching the Clipsal Cortex uh, meter and platform. It's effectively a, uh, an app for consumers to help empower them to make better energy choices. The, the installer basically installs this meter in the, uh, in the switchboard and then you're basically able to access the data uh, of your electricity consumption, your solar generation, and anything that happens in the in, in between with uh, with respect to your, uh, your your electricity consumption. So you're going to be one of those dads that's racing around after the kids, tell them to turn the light off. Look how much yeah, power that's you're right. using. So we, we almost need to uh, offer marriage counselling because <laughs> either the the wife or the uh, or the husband is nagging the other to uh, to turn the lights off and the likes. And can can mum and dad, or if there's multiple people in the house, can they all get access to the same set of data? Yeah, or that's one? right. You can set up multiple users and, and everyone can access the app as, uh, accordingly. Yep. And what we're able to do is basically offer, um, we, we think we can we can uh, generate more than $700 worth of savings in the first year for customers. So how do you generate, how do I save 700 bucks? Yeah, so the first one is, is through uh, being able to upload a bill and uh, get a bill comparison. So over the last six months, we've been able to demonstrate an average savings of more than $450 for customers to basically um, switch plans and that gives just it, it empowers the customer to get a really good understanding of should i stay or should i go is there a better plan out there for me so do just to clarify do you do the bill or do you become their energy retailer no, or no, no you no. make a recommendation no, we, of what they're on and there's a cheaper offer exactly we just provide the we just provide the uh, the recommendation as to yeah, are there, is there a better plan out there for you? So whether or not you're with Origin Energy and should change to AGL, et cetera, or maybe there's a bit of a niche um, electrical uh, retailer out there that, uh, that might be trying to uh, acquire some new customers with some red hot deals, yep. uh, we can cater for all of that. So up, I install the meter, yep. I'm getting data, I'm seeing my daily usage, I can upload my bill, you then can make a recommendation. Am I on the best plan, or is there a cheaper plan? That's right. And what else can what else can you say? So there's there's two other offers that we have. Uh, one's called the Leak Scanner, which we're launching today as well. Um, basically, that's looking at your, your base load. So what stays on 24/7 uh, that you can uh, look to turn off and be able to save accordingly. Because obviously, anything anything running 24/7 is basically like a dripping tap. Sure. So effectively, that's basically going to be they're burning energy and uh, and effectively hurting the hip. Pocket. Now we think we can save roughly about 30% of, uh, of a typical homeowner's um, base load, just being able to uh, identify and help uh, the customers go through and understand what's uh, what's what's being used uh, and, and what's being consumed where. Right. So they have to go around then and physically turn off devices. Yeah. Or but I I, I was looking at that earlier. You have the ability to. Um, in the product coming out that yeah. can remotely switch things. Yeah, that's so, right. That's right. So longer term, H2, uh, uh, second half of, uh, of this year in 2023, uh, we're going to be launching our switchable product, which is going to be able to let you to control a dedicated circuit in your switchboard. So what does that mean? That could mean a, uh, a hot water system. It could mean a pool pump. Um, I, for, for, for example, have uh, a, uh, a spa that I that I run between the hours of 10 and 2. So and when you're producing excess solar, yeah, exactly right. you have it automatically. So are you switching that yourself or you get the program at the device to do it's, it? It's set up basically on a time schedule. Okay. So effectively it runs between the hours of 10 and 2 and I have plenty of solar to basically be able to run that spa at 37 degrees for, uh, for free basically. It's, nice. it's fantastic. Beautiful. So it's helping people, I guess, be more aware of their energy usage exactly and to be able to see when they're producing excess energy and here's some other reasons that i could um, switch my excess energy consumption to pool pump hot water service you know what i really like about your product is that um, in the future we can install these for people and whether yeah. they're going to do ev charging or heat pump because they might have an existing hot water service but they could put that device in it's quite cheap save them a bit of money and then down the track they're future proof that if yeah. they get an EV or they get a hot upgrade to a hot water that's right heat pump um, or yeah heat pump for air conditioning and heating they can then use this device to remotely switch that 
exactly. future device. I what, love it. What's great about it is, is you're able to measure uh, dedicated circuits in the home. So you can get an understanding of what your air conditioner costs you to run on a 40 degree day. Yep. You can understand what your off-peak controlled hot water is costing you and yep. then be able to understand, well, should I get a, a heat pump as a yes. result or yep. run it during the day when, uh, when the sun's generating? It, it empowers customers to make these choices because otherwise, if they didn't have this product, they're running blinds. Yeah, they've got no idea. Of it's just like driving a car without a fuel gauge. Yeah. And, and as a result, electricity prices are getting so expensive now that customers have to act. Yeah. Um, customers can then be notified if there's a, some way of saving. Because I noticed on the demo that I was mm. watching that a little notification come up. So talk me through what yeah. the app does or how it communicates to people. So, yeah. um, so push notifications are a real easy way to bring customers back into the experience. And the last thing that we have is um, with with the typical inverter apps that you get out there uh, these days, customers are usually just looking at them for the first 30 days and they forget about yeah. it. You know, it's the shiny toy to begin with, but they often it often gets forgotten. We've been able to demonstrate high engagement with this app, with this with our product in this app, um, to be able to bring customers back into the experience through through the likes of push notifications. Yeah, great. And what can that look like? That can be um, we expect a bill uh, from you, Jason. Upload your bill and get a retail plan check. Yep. Um, there could be other things around being able to um, shift your behavior or if you leave a load on um, yep. the likes. It could be a reminder. Another one exactly. I had a thought of was, imagine I've got say five kilowatts of solar and I put that into the app that I've got a five kilowatt solar system. Well, you, you can expect I'm gonna generate three, four, five, but if it dropped to one, then you could probably send me a notification to say, you, your system is not performing the way it should. We expect you would be at five kilowatts or six kilowatts, you're only at one, get someone to come out and check your system because it's, something's happened, it's yeah. not working. So it, It's really that white glove uh, service, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's that idea of being able to have that peace of mind, insurance um, for the solar system, and almost that point of, I expect the installer to be contacting me, not the other way around. Correct, correct. And in this, in, in this instance, the app can do all of that for them. So if the customer's on it and watching it, they can get notification, hey, you should check that, you've left that load on, or you're not getting that, or you could save by changing that bill. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but then there exactly. could be a prompt to the us. The choice is theirs. The choice is theirs. That's right. They've got the information, they decide, but then there's a, a notification to us as well that we might be able to ring the customer as a courtesy and say, yeah. by the way, did you know that you could save a bit of money or you could change bills or... Yeah, that's no, right. Good. That's right. Because the, 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 the instance there is over time, customers, once they consume this data, start coming up with questions. What's next? Yes. Do I need a battery? Do I need a, an, an EV charger? Do I need to replace my hot water system? And this is exactly where um, the likes of uh, a light can be able to provide that opportunity for customers, existing customers, yep. to be able to uh, to really keep that customer relationship pretty close. Great, I love it. It's it's a reasonably priced product. You're going to save customers money. I think you're future proofing their home setup. With yeah, talk to me about like how many CT clamps. Get, let's nerd out for a bit yeah, for the other sure. installers out there. Talk us through the specs of CT clamps and and this one's or the next one's coming out with contactors, isn't correct, it? Correct, correct. So talk us through that. So look, this is available uh, today uh, at Green Tech, uh, so local wholesaler. Um, it comes with basically uh, six CTs, so six channels are available to be monitored. Yep. Um, and with that, in a single phase uh, installation, you can imagine having the, the, the grid connection point, the solar system, the hot water system, and then anything else that, you, that you'd like to monitor, yep. whether it be an aircon, uh, whether it be a spa, etc. cetera. Um, and then from there, you can basically um, pick up all of that uh, information in, in, the, in the app. The commissioning process, so once it's installed, it's super easy for installers to, uh, to be able to commission. It's a four-step process. You basically start with entering some site details, um, identifying which, which uh, what type of suppliers is it single phase, two phase, three phase, etc. Yep. You're entering the, the, the solar system details, uh, how many panels, angles and orientations and the likes. And from there, you're basically configuring this, the, the, the meter. What, what's involved with that? You're basically saying which CT channels are installed where. Got it. And what's really handy is you're able to change phasing and polarity oh, in app. 
So I, I, I thought that was amazing. So how often have we installed C-tier clamps and we've got them around the wrong way? That's right. And we've got to go back to site. You've got to call someone or you've got to go back to site. And it's always Friday afternoon Correct. or Saturday. Correct. Um, so you can, re in the app, in the back end, you can reverse the polarity if we get the CT clamp the wrong That's way. That's right. So the, the installer has access to every site and every, con every uh, meter configuration. And what's really handy is, for example, if the customer isn't home during the time of the commissioning and they couldn't be able to verify that there's some load, um, they can retrospectively look at the data and say, hey, that doesn't actually look right. I'm gonna flip the polarity right. as a result. And, and that's super handy for things like off-peak controlled loads uh, where the hot water's not running when yes. you're on site. Because it's not until middle of the night exactly. it kicks on. No excuse you installers to put your <laughs> CT clamps the wrong way either. Get them the right way, but these guys will help you. They'll flip them for you automatically in the background. So. Fantastic. Yeah, and um, what was the, what else was I thinking about? Yeah, so the contactors talk yeah. to us about that, and also the looks like you've got an antenna here. How does it connect? So yes. contactors and connection. Yep, fantastic. So the there, there is an antenna on here, so it's a cellular connection, uh, 4G, um, and basically that enables the the meter to communicate with our cloud. Um, so there's no interfacing with Wi-Fi or anything like that at this stage. Um, and it makes it super easy so that you're not dealing with Wi-Fi passwords and dropouts. And yeah, those so it's got a things. SIM card in it? Correct. And a SIM card. What, what's the ongoing cost to the customer for that? Great question. So the customer is up for a $60 per annum uh, subscription. Cheap as chips. Basically a coffee a month. Yep. And, um, and from that standpoint, um, they basically get access to the app. The installer gets access to the data as well uh, to be able to provide that ongoing support and opportunity for uh, for the likes of any future upsells that, uh, that the customer is interested in. Right, and let's talk about contactors as well. Yep, so in the future, the future uh, release of this, H2 this year, uh, 2023, uh, we, we can be expecting to see uh, three dry contacts being available in the meter. So that enables you to install a contactor uh, in the in the switchboard, so that you can be able to control um, any dedicated circuit, whether it be a pool pump, sparse, uh, or even a uh, a hot water system. So anything that would have previously been set up on a timer switch, yeah, you can then have it onto that and then have remote, the client has remote access or That's even right. as the installer you can check it to make sure it's working. Yep, exactly right. So you, you basically configure it whether it be normally open, normally closed, etc. Um, and, and from there basically um, the customer is able to get uh, an on-off toggle in their app. So say for example, if they wanted to boost the hot water system for example, those those are the types of things that they'll that they'll have in, um, in app. Um, and then in the future, um, as I said, H2 this year, they'll be able to set time schedules. They'll also be able to um, configure the, the, the meter to be able to uh, do some smart thinking around, do I need to switch these loads based on solar export? So if there's any surplus solar, are we able to basically uh, consume more load during the day uh, to soak that up and maximize the, the amount of return. It's really home automation or energy automation. That's where it's going, and isn't optimization. it? optimization. Yeah. Well, electricity is becoming like gold. So yeah. you've got to treat it with respect and, and yeah. optimize your usage of it, especially if you're making it for free. Yeah. Well, then you don't want to pay for it when you've got it for free. So let's, let's get set up with the homes of the future that are optimized and some smarts switching and data information is the key isn't it oh, if yeah. you know when you're monitoring stuff you can make changes it, it, it empowers customers and when they're when they're empowered they make informed decisions and that's that's exactly what we want we want to empower customers to make better energy choices and and that's that's how they stay on top of these electricity bills awesome well great chatting mitch thanks you for talking us through the cortex product so h2 second half of 2023 available and you can get it through green tech uh, ballpark, what does customers pay for that? So it's 60 bucks a year, the ongoing, and what's the retail cost installed of that unit for customers? Yep, so we, we think that could be anywhere between 700 to $1,000 from a, from a, an installation, a fully installed yep. um, a point of view, recommended retail. And you reckon customers are gonna save a lot of that or a chunk of that back in the first in, year? In the first year, yep. Yeah, great. Yep. We think customers can save about 700 off the first off the first year. Love it, righto, very good. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. If you've enjoyed this, also check out our website. Good on, good on you. Great product. I love it. Cheers, Jason. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.